Six foot two, 320 pounds. The following contest is a triple threat tornado tag team match. And is for the NXT Tag Team Championship. Introducing first, from Hubbard, Oregon, weighing in at 320 pounds, Tucker! Look at the size of this guy. <laughs> he seems to get bigger every time I see him. The big man's here. And representing the Alpha Academy from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis! Cole, we talk about the transformations of superstars in WWE. No one has undergone a metamorphosis from a cartoon character to a walking reality check quite like Otis has. Otis is a superstar to be reckoned with. The number one guy in the Alpha Academy. I don't know about you guys, but I miss the old Otis. This new Otis makes me want to hide under the announce desk. Good. We'll let you know when he leaves. Get ready, gentlemen. Someone's about to get punched in the and face. At a combined weight of 380 pounds, Danny Birch and Otis. These two men have battled each other and captured tag team gold together. Two tough as nails superstars. Gentlemen, it's time to throw them up. The Messiah of the Backbreaker, ready to prove his worth on his own. And from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. You know, TakeOver marks an inflection point in Strong's career. And remember TakeOver New Orleans where he betrayed Pete Dunn, cost their team the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic and the NXT Tag Titles? You may not like his motivations. You may question his methods. But Roderick Strong is a force to be reckoned with every time the bell rings. Roderick Strong, success has gone through the roof. Well, I guess Roderick was willing to give up a part of himself to achieve success. It's amazing how easily it is to fill a hole in yourself with championship gold, Byron. Well, here's a man who's been called one of the best pure strikers in all of WWE. The statement is hard to argue with. We are looking at one of NXT's most successful competitors ever. And... From Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 200 pounds, Kyle O'Reilly! Well, Kyle O'Reilly's swagger and skills are right at home here at TakeOver. O'Reilly's won many tag team title matches at TakeOver, including winning the Dusty Classic. Yeah, many TakeOver main events on the resume of Kyle O'Reilly. And I got a strong feeling O'Reilly is planning to steal the show once again here tonight. Amazing grappling and striking skills, supremely confident. O'Reilly's already backed it up and continues to do so. The brighter the lights, the harder the strikes for Kyle O'Reilly.
Tornado tag with multiple teams facing off. Things are going to get frantic fast. Whatever team comes out of this with their hand raised is going to make a strong case for being the best in WWE. And Tucker with the instinct to counter. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Producing a trampoline. And Roderick scouted. He's one step ahead there. Nice take down. Great 
strategy. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Tucker denies the attack. Strong doctors just in time. Clutch. Into an arm breaker. Nasty. Continually punishing man. And that one scouted. Face first with a waist lock takedown. Tucker throwing hard to the outside. And seamlessly slips into the neck crank submission. Give up now. And Tucker, Tucker just eliminated has been the eliminated. Wards off that offense from Oni. Oh, a wrist clutch. Into an arm breaker. Nasty. Continually punishing man. He's returning fire. This could be it. Good not. Does he have it? Oh, he falls down. In trouble. And he shoves him into the ropes and gets it to force the break. And this has got to be it. Shut it right away. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. Roderick Strong taking a moment, wondering what else he needs to do to put this one away. How have we not claimed a winner yet? You got to believe that not wanting to feel the agony of defeat is causing this never surrender attitude. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want to be him right now. O'Reilly has him in the guillotine. They're fading fast. After everything these two men have been through, will it end like this? Will it end with a submission tap out? His body might give out at this point. And he may have felt his grip slippy. So he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage though. Setting it up. He may get the three count right here. I think so. And a kick out at two. I am shaking my head in disbelief. Over the game has been eliminated. Birch saw it coming. Birch able to avert that. He's ejected from the ring. Back into the ring. Yeah. There is some power behind that punch. Punch in the arm. Not done yet. Into the arm breaker. Hammer lock. Boom. He's looking to finally put Burns away. is strong is something to be in awe of here. Evades the attack. O'Reilly gets fended off. Placed in the corner. Oh, saw it coming. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Double under a third black line. Beautiful suplex, but not done yet. Still going. Another one. Going for a try. Submission. Inverted figure four leg lock. This could be it. Right 
the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh, enough already. Double underhook. And over into a suplex. to the core like that will render you useless. He turns it around. I don't feel like a titanic shift roaring through this crowd right now. Well, you're not the only one, Saxon. It's all coming to a head now. Birch gets countered. Oh, what a counter. Delivering the suplex. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. He's going for the pin. This could be it. One, two. And he fights it off. The fact that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Feel Byron. 